Hello, my name is Miguel and today I'm going to make for you or show you how to make cow's head brown stew with broad beans or butter beans. So this is one cup. One cup and just put it to soak like how you see it in water. It's been in water for a while so I'm just going to let it soak. That releases the gas. So you're going to need half pound to at least two pounds of cow's head cows head cut to chunks about half inch both sides so this is cow head it's not something I like that much because it looks disgusting but I'll eat this part the beef this is like the brain or the marrow or whatever it's disgusting but it's a meal that we Jamaicans tend to eat occasionally yeah, so you want to cut it about it already cut to chunks so we're going to pressure cook this all right okay visit my website jamaicadinners.com for the exact ingredients so we're going to use about a tablespoon and a half of dried parsley this is whole clove, about three or four whole cloves, pimento seed, this is a teaspoon of pimento, pimento berries, the seeds are in these little berries, a stock or two of scallion, two small onions or a very large one, uh, carrot, about quarter pound or half pound, eight garlic cloves one small tomato half of a chocho dice one scotch bunny pepper half of a green scotch bunny pepper you know me I'm still doing natural cooking so a tablespoon of dried parsley a tablespoon of dried basil rosemary teaspoon of rosemary dried rosemary or fresh oregano a teaspoon of oregano and a teaspoon of dried marjoram a tablespoon of white white vinegar a tablespoon of salt sea salt preferably and quarter cup of cooking oil coconut oil preferably and we're going to need some water some water to pressure cook and stew down the, the cow's head. Oh, you're gonna need some browning. About a teaspoon or a tablespoon of browning. Like I said, visit my website for the exact ingredients. In a teaspoon of browning. Teaspoon of browning. A piece of ginger cut to a quarter of one finger peel and wash and because I want this cow's head to be extremely keyword extremely flavorful I'm gonna enhance it with some nutmeg grated and to spruce up the taste in the end, I'm gonna add some jerk seasoning, jerk sauce. Just to spruce up the taste. You can use like any steak sauce, like steak A1 or whatever, just any kind of any kind of beef sauce you can use. Spring a time and I'm gonna use a small turnip. Peel it and dice it as well. Alright, I'm going to start prepping now. So get two plates. One we're going to add in first and then we're going to have a second add. So while it pressures, we're going to put half of the seasoning in and while it stews down, we're going to put the second half in. So we're going to prep now.
cleanest scale yeah. strip and just strip it off. Personally, I don't cook with this that much. I don't like it. Turn it. This is going to break down. near to the end, dice it near to the end. And this is the carrot near to the end I'm gonna put it in. Green pepper. Green pepper is not hot, it's just for flavoring. This is hot. I'm gonna add it in a second much. Second, the second batch. Very strong. So about three, 
Futur oder der ist Maidara Teaspoon Half a teaspoon here, half a teaspoon here and Maidara and Oregano Half a teaspoon, half a teaspoon This is dried rosemary about a teaspoon Half over here dried parsley Teaspoon over here, teaspoon over here. These are the fermented seeds, but it's fermented berries. These are actually berries. The seeds are in this. About three or four seeds are in this. See? This is a seed. This is a seed. So a teaspoon. Half over there, half over there. Salt, tablespoon. Half over here, half over here. Not make. Put it in the first side. I just want it cooking only. Less than a quarter teaspoon. Ginger. This enhances the flavor. This pea ginger. Half over here and half over there. this until you're ready for it. Put to eat. Pot for stewing. A pot for stewing. Allow it to get hot. Put the pot on the inside the stove. Allow it to get hot for about a minute or two. Put the stove gauge on six medium high. Allow it, to, allow it to get out for a minute and add oil. Add oil. And some oil that I fry some chicken and stuff in. Season. Oh. Add the beef first. In the brown. Set the season. Let's allow this to calm down. Let it stay for four minutes. Add a teaspoon of white vinegar. And then we'll add a teaspoon again when, when it's stewed. After three minutes,
add four cups of water. The man and man, you know, I'm going to mash up the camera right here. I see something. pressure cook the cow's head for 1 hour and 30 minutes so get your pressure cooker lid on make sure the rubber is on properly make sure this is on it comes to a whistle we're gonna start timing it what I'm gonna do today because I'm gonna use the broad beans I'm gonna cook this for about one hour and ten minutes allow it to cool and then I'm gonna add the broad beans to it because cow head tough enough just you know, to make sure it cook properly it's tenderized the final is came to a whistle. It took about six minutes. So put the salt clean and low. We're going to slow cook it. Almost off, but not off. Allow it to pressure cook for one hour and ten minutes. And then we're going to add a bean. Normally it would take one hour and thirty minutes. But because we're going to add a bean, Three quarter way in. So put the timer for one ten and put the stove gauge on low. Leave it. That way, when we add the beans, it will kind of and it, and it's pressuring. It's gonna it's gonna get the flavor of the cold egg gravy. Hear how slow it's simmering. That's how low you want to keep the flame. That's it. If you were cooking a lot more than say a pound and a half, say you were cooking six pounds, you use a bigger pot for one. And you know, you turn it up like mm, low or medium low. Because it's, it's just a pound. That's all you want it simmering. It's 40 minutes in already. So let it keep on pressuring. Of pressure. Alright. Alright, we're at that time now. It's 1 hour and 10 minutes. It's a good wait. Just turn it off and just allow it allow it to cool. Do not lift this up. This if you do that, it's gonna I believe the flavor escapes when you if you should just pick this up and just let the pressure. No. Don't do that. Alright. This is what it's, it looks like. Turn it in there. Uh, 
add about half a cup of water just to be safe. starts to whistle we're gonna time it for 20 minutes you know what at this stage you know like like some of the pieces like this this is tender but the skin is still tough so check and take out the tender pieces Start to go just those two pieces. Okay, once this comes to a whistle, put the salt straight on for medium low. Just the note a point. You see if you cut the meat, the chunks, like fine, like an inch, like half an inch, it won't take that long to pressure. It'll probably just take hour and ten minutes. But if you cut them big, like an inch or bigger pieces, it will take about hour, twenty minutes, thirty minutes. Tenderize the meat. And two, in cow head you have beef type meat in it, and you have tough grain marrow, or whatever those things are. So some things require a little bit more time, and some meat parts require a little less time. And while we wait for this to finish, let's get your second ad ready. Don't practice this, it's not good to cut while this is working because I did it very gently anyway. It's not a good practice. Don't ever do that. Don't ever work around this while it's pressure. Well, once the time is up, let's turn it off. Let's allow it to cool. Alright, once it's cool. second add it if need to I might add a little water. Since I had a second set of seasoning, see how close it is? 
But all of this is going to break down. You don't want to kill the gravy. You know. This is a lot of water. And the vegetable have water too. Just wanted you to see it. And if one or two of the beans not cook fully, by the time they stew down it will cook. So don't worry. It's just jerk sauce, jerk seasoning that I buy. I use it sometimes to spruce up the taste of beef, any kind of meat, red meat I'm cooking. This is how it looks. So I'm going to add about a, a teaspoon or maybe a tablespoon of this near to the end with the carrots. This is two minutes in. This is where it starts stewing. Just allow it to simmer. And keep the pot slid on. Don't open it every minute. That's going to release most of If you do that, it's going to release the moist. Let's keep it covered for about a time until I let you know. I, I have the stove cage on low. That low. It's low. If the flame is, if the simmering is going too fast, you know, you can always turn the stove down lower. You don't want it to cook out too fast. You just want it to simmer down low on the vegetable vegetable vitamins just break down in the gravy nutrients just break down in the gravy so that's how low I have it 10 minutes in let's add the jerk sauce a teaspoon Let's just screw the taste up some. And if it sticks, just add a little water. Check it. I'm gonna add another half cup. So you now we use five cups. Okay, it's been simmering on very low for the 20 minutes now. See how low it's simmering. I took out the garlic and, and smashed, smashed them. So just stir it gently. You don't want to break it up. On very low. So allow it to simmer. And keep it covered. Okay, it's 35 minutes now. And this is what it looks like. Not sticking, just simmering. So just keep it covered. We're doing a slow cooking. So I want it to be really flavorful. Okay, while we wait for the stew to, to thicken, while we wait for the stew to thicken, let's prep the carrots. So that's good. 
so it's been 45 minutes just 45 minutes simmering and low it's sticking a little but it's okay because it's the gravy is thickening I want it go for the hour so it's five minutes shy one hour since it's been stewing so we're gonna turn the stove up a little we're gonna turn the flame up and get the gravy thickened so put your stove's gauge on four or even six but just turn it up and let it boil and we're gonna add a ketchup quarter cup or less this is a little bit less than a quarter cup it's a little bit less than a quarter cup and stir the tea in gently so it's thickening Just let it stay for about three to five minutes and then once you turn it off we're gonna add the diced carrot. you know it's flavorful I didn't add any powder season to this whatsoever it's all natural herbs and vegetables so you can turn it off so that's it let's cover it until you're ready to serve. Okay, just to do a, 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 a recap. We pressure cooked the cow's head for one hour and ten minutes. Then we added half cup of water to the four cup of water that we pressured it with. Then we added the beans that were soaking for more than an hour, removed that water and then added the beans, the broad beans. Then we allowed that to pressure for 20 minutes. Then, but, we, but before that though, we added the first added seasoning with the cow's head. Okay, after that so it was completed, we added half cup more water. So that's in all we used five cups of water. This is just about half pound of cow's head. So if you were using more pound of cow head, watch it and add more water. And we allow this to simmer. We allow this to simmer for one hour. And, and with the stove's gauge on very low. And this is it. So that's it cow's head. Today is a Sunday. It's best eating. Cow's head is best eaten with rice and peas but I'm actually gonna eat it with food. Boiled food like sweet potato, boiled green bananas, no dumpling and some ripe plantains. To show you sometimes when we tie the rice and peas we eat food instead on a Sunday boiled food
Oh, just to say, the alternative way to cook this, you would put more water and boil it, cover it properly, because if you don't want to pressure cook it, and boil it for hours, maybe three hours, and just lower it and let until it tenderize, and then you add the seasoning and so forth and stew it down. Now I'm going to serve. with broad beans. We put some vegetable right here. Sliced tomato or lettuce. Cow's brain. Cow's head with broad beans. Alongside sweet boiled sweet potato, boiled red plantain and green bananas, and lettuce. Alright, let's sample. Gravy is nice. A little spicy, but it's nice. So that's cow's head. See that? You can see the thing. That's why I don't like it because it's hard to eat this. If you're not used to this, thing, it's going to be difficult to eat. See ya. Try my recipe. You'll enjoy it. It's healthy for you too. I wanted to show you something. Although I, we pressure cook this for 1 hour and 30 minutes, this part is still cooked. You see? So don't think that the hour and 30 minutes is too long. Because you will think that this will serve now, but it's pressured just enough. It's pressured just right. Some of the beefy peas, take them out before you add the beans. Because I was eating. It's spicy and nice. Trust me. Very delicious. I think this cow head is low color now. So it tastes much better than the imported ones. This actually tastes good to me. Love the beans. Beans taste nice and everything. Beans taste really nice. Look. So 
want you to see. Look, I don't see if you can see the detail. That's the burial. This is not like beef, you know. This is different. You see? Weird. That's what people eat. Third world countries. Third world countries. And, and this is exotic. Exotic food. For you guys. Not exotic for me. We eat this other one. the banana and I grab it really. Yeah. yeah. Enjoy. Carriages country. <coughs> Carriages country. That's a plate. Yes, a clean. You tell me why. You think it's clean. <laughs> 